Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Ryan and Joel Lean In, the amazing podcast that uploads every single week without fail. A new topic every week. We're on top of it all the time. VODs are always uploaded. We're here every single day. We're actually recording every day, but we upload every week. Um, very continually, very religious about this. And, Same. And uh, we're not a, at all uh, ca- very casual about this. I disagree with the casual suggestion that you're mm. suggesting we are casual because... No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm, I'm not I think you are. No, no, no. I, like, I think you're reading into it. Am I? Yeah, I think you're overthinking and you should stop. It's very and that rude. your perspective is actually kind of wrong. It's so rude. Uh, Ryan, how have you been, man? What's going on? Good. I've been all right. Yeah, I've been working. Um, we watched Black Panther. That was fun. Black Panther was very good. Black Panther Wakanda forever. And we'll yeah. talk about that today. What, what about personally, man? Are you, just, are you doing good? Yeah, going all right. I, um, I want to... Uh, I probably shouldn't say it. Oh, I don't think I'll. I'll just say it. Sorry. I, I want to get into disability care. I'm just working. Ah. I'm working someplace else right now. Um. So <laughs> hopefully nobody from work watches this. I don't think anybody. Does. Oh, are you saying that you're gonna quit? <laughs> so no, 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 you're not. No, 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 you're not. No, 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 you're not. I yeah, was yeah, just yeah. joking. Like you guys, because re- that was a meme. <laughs> you, guys, um, you guys are reading it into it too much. Your perspective is wrong. Um, <laughs> yeah, because it's like, it's like it, there's this funny thing with jobs where it's like you don't tell them exactly what you're thinking or what your like plan is for life. Yeah, um, you kind of lie in a way. <laughs> oh, I'm here forever. <laughs> I'm gone in two weeks. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, no, awesome. Yeah. Um, what about I, you, man? I I'm good, bro. I'm um I finished uni. Woo! Yo! Dude, congrats. Thanks, man. It's been um. That, that been sounded good. so like. It sounded so fake. <laughs> oh, dude, congrats, man. That was that was really nice. I hate you yeah. too. <laughs> what? What did you say? Nothing. No. Uh, uh, congratulations. Thank wow. you. Yay! Oh, good clap. Woo. Um, I mean, I am, I'm definitely pumped for this Christmas season. I love Christmas. Do you mm. love, do you love, do you love Christmas, I, Ryan? I do, I do, I do. And I actually like, uh, summer Christmas more than, I haven't actually been to like any other country <laughs> I was going to say, because I'm like, I haven't experienced that. Have you experienced like, that? I, I don't know. The, snow the is, idea of it. The snow is cool and everything, but like. I don't know. It's just more fulfilling for me if you go to the beach after Christmas Eve. You know? That sounds terrible, but I know you don't like sand. I don't like the beach, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. So I like it's summer too. And rough. It's called a pool. You know, it's, oh. it's not the butthole of the world where everything poops. But and there's hunts. like no, there's no momentum. There's no waves. And it's no not fun. about the motion. <laughs> <laughs> You're flipping it. <laughs> anyway, uh, today we're going to be chatting about two movies One that we've already seen And one that's coming out soon So why don't we start with talking about Wakanda Forever Because uh, we saw that uh, when it uh, came out I've only seen it the one time Ryan's only seen it the one, the one time, one time. Yeah. Um, But you have the extraordinary experience of watching Black Panther first, like straight before. Yeah, so I watched it the morning of, which is pretty... Yeah, yeah. Go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I watched the whole of Black Panther 1 and then I just scrubbed through all of the other movies that T'Challa appears in and just watched some of his scenes. Like, <laughs> yeah, to, yeah, yeah, I just wanted Civil War. to vibe. Yep, Civil War. There's a lot of cool T'Challa stuff in that uh, one. Um, I'll go first. Um, I think Wakanda Forever is a great film. I think that... You have to. There's a couple like things that you have to know. Did you spill water? Oh no! I just hit the mic with my cheek. <laughs> You're to die. You're going to die. No. Oh. Um, yeah, I think with Wakanda Forever, a couple of things you have to keep in mind. Number one, um, this is a script that they put together after already writing this movie. So there's there's there was already oh, a yes. script in yeah. place. Chadwick passes, um, and then they backpedal. He doesn't just take a script and rip the core parts out of it and then put it into another thing, he started the script again. So for in that respect, losing your key actor as well, which I think is a key part of why um, the box office is going well, but not amazing, you know, Um, 
you lose your star. There's a, another thing you got to keep in mind. The way that they do the passing of the mantle and stuff in the movie, non-spoilers, is great. Don't don't go into it thinking that um, T'Challa has to be the, the 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 person that passes on needs to be a man, and then you know it's yeah. like it's 2022. Um, the the Namor stuff's great. Talokan's amazing. I can't wait to see them again whenever they pop up in the MCU. Struggling to see where they would pop up in the MCU, but um, yeah, Ryan, uh, what are your thoughts? Non spoilers. Um, yeah, no, honestly, great movie. I I had fun during it, um, but it was also there was some also like emotional parts to it. I found that was that was surprising almost, and I mm. I remember actually feeling like you know really feeling for the characters uh, in the movie, and yeah, I just thought that it's it's a great addition to Marvel to the cinematic universe, especially the end of Phase Two. Yeah, yeah. Wait, is this the end of the phase? That was the end of the phase. There, that's awesome. awesome a good send off, off to yeah. the phase and. Yeah, and which characters emotionally we did you like connect with? Is that like Shuri and Ramonda? Is that kind of where you? Yeah, going? yeah, like just the new Black Panther, pretty much. Like she, um, I don't know. Well, by the end of it, like during the end finale, um, where there's a big, it's almost like a big dilemma going on with, with everything. Uh, non spoilers. Yeah, you're doing well. Are oh, you doing well? I'm impressed. <laughs> um, and it's and I I was really in in her shoes. Like I, the movie did a really good job of um, putting us in her shoes, and mm-hmm. which is what a good movie should do. Hundred percent. And uh, really empathizing with with everything. So, and out of ten, I'll give it like probably like a eight point five to a nine. I thought it was. I agree. Great. Yeah. I think it's probably I know this is like semi controversial. I talked to our friend Matt about this the other day and he disagreed with me on it. So I'm just gonna put my thoughts out there. I think that this movie, in terms of the phase, is the second best movie of the phase. I think Spider Man yeah. No Way Home is still the best movie we've had this phase. Mm. Um I think it's pro that's probably next. I think very close to it for me at least is Shang Chi. Shang Chi had was new, fresh, emotional as well. Yeah. Like, I, I, I think we've been spoilt in this phase with some really different stuff, like a Spider-Man celebration. Then going to a movie in this movie, Wakanda Forever, where you, we're kind of mourning with with them about T'Challa and Chadwick in real life. Yeah. And then, yeah, like Shang-Chi being a different thing. I liked Multiverse Madness as well. There's a, it's a, It's a funny thing that... I, I know people are like, oh, we're dying. Like, the Marvel's dying. And I'm like, <laughs> there's a lot of good stuff coming out. I don't know about that. Yeah, I think the, the yeah. more you make, the harder it is to hit every time. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But um, we're so spoiled to have different things in a year. Wakanda Forever, Spider-Man No Way Home, Moon Knight, mm. WandaVision. Like, we're, we're very spoiled for, for different things. And I think uh, people will really jump back on the bandwagon when things start to connect yeah because i think people forget phase one was not connected at all yeah it was fairly sparse and just kind of or a post-credit scene yeah that was the only connection like i just chuck that in and there you go (laughs) and then we were suddenly in an avengers movie and we're like okay yeah (laughs) and we we didn't complain no we were like like, yeah i remember what we were how old were we 12 because i remember we would make 2012 is avengers so we're either 12 or like early yeah yeah 12 13 13, yeah year seven to see superheroes on the screen together Pretty wild. I remember we would make Facebook posts and we'd yeah, whose it. character is yeah? I've got. I saw the other day when I was looking at my pictures. We've got like the Hobbit on there. Who's oh, yeah, who's yeah. two in the Hobbit? That was with um, Jamie, right? Jamie. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. There, there's a picture of um, Thor and Loki, and I'm like, I'm Loki seven. You're Thor. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think that kind of experience we're talking about is why Black Panther is so special. Like, I think we're like quite privileged as white males we've always had someone that looks like us talks like us on the big screen yeah and for t'challa and and the rest of the cast which are fantastic as well by the way they were good in the first movie mm. they they step up massive in this in wakanda forever mbaku's great shuri's fantastic i didn't love her character in in black Pan- you know she was the yeah. nerdy side just kind of comic like, relief yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but now um, she, she's grown a- 
much more serious side to her and um, the, the weight of responsibility of her uh, really was coming through for sure. 100%. And Ramonda as well. I mean, like, her mm. performance is sensational in this movie. Like, a mother grieving and she's sensational as well. Um, I mean, Namor's great. I I find, I found Namor just a slight bit distracting because of how, like, cool their, like, Talican <laughs> was and how cool Namor is. He just shows up and he's yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, oh, dude, I've got to say, I loved the... It's almost like a clash of civilizations. So... You know, Wakanda is kind of based off, you know, ancient tribes of Africa and kind of, and like a congregate, congregation of all that, and but futuristic in a way, right? Yeah, with sci fi and yeah. like. And then with the, I guess you kind of see this in the trailer. You can kind of guess. Um, like, is this kind of a mild spoiler that like the Mayan, you know. No, no, that's, that's I think that's, that's in the trailer. And yeah, stuff, okay, okay. Um, yeah, where. Uh, what was his name again? Namor, Namor civilization. It's all mm. very ancient Mayan and um, like Mexican influences. Yeah, and, Mexican. Like, it's just it's awesome. And the soundtracks oh. to both. Oh, and they were using um, ang- it sounded like actual instruments that they would have used. I think so for both, which is almost. I think it's um the same guy who did. You probably know his name. It, oh. How is it Ludwig? Sure. No, what's the it's a guy who did Tenant. He did oh. the last Black Panther. He's yeah, he's yeah, massive yeah. at the moment. Gorf Sassenen or something. You know, like he's yeah. got like that Swedish. He's class. so great, and and I think he's I had picked no up idea the vibe. That he, did the, he did the soundtrack, of course. You know, yeah, and he did the first one as well. And he's done so much lately. I I wouldn't be surprised if he starts picking up the the big. Because yeah. we're starting to get to a time where the big composers are like not going to be around. Yeah, um, like John Williams is hanging up the boots. Is he? It, yep, he's old, man. He's old. Yeah, that's true. Um, it won't be long, and Zimmer goes. I've had enough. Yeah. You know, like yeah. uh, so. Um, this guy, Joe Hansen, Joe Han- Joe Hansen, composer. Yeah, him. Lud- yeah, Ludwig Göransson. Yeah, he is fantastic. I love his music, and I I'm a kind of person who likes to listen to soundtrack. Um. Just I love movie soundtracks, and he is a big feature on my playlist of that kind of stuff because he's he's got that very grand, you know, he can do what everyone else does with that sort of stuff, but he's mm. also got like the emotion and the passion. Another guy I love as well is the guy who just directed Werewolf by Night, and he. I need um, to watch that. You, oh, we need to watch that. I'll watch that with you if you come over sometime. Heck um, He's done. He did Spider Man No Way Home. He did the Batman. Uh, Michael uh, Giacchino. Oh, I don't really know him. He but, yeah. is. Do I mean doing the Batman and Spider Man No Way Home in like oh, four months is wow. pretty wild. That is wow. He's great. Both of them, and then he, My, Michael Giacchino directed Werewolf by Night. It's his directorial debut, so wow. he does the music for it and he directs the piece, which is That's pretty cool. That's so cool. Um, but yeah, Wakanda Forever. The soundtrack's fantastic. The colors and the sets. It's like it's it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I love the film. What my only critique of the film, it's paced a little weird at times. Yeah, and oh, I don't know. True. I don't know okay. if that was more of like a. It's definitely a different thing because, as, as we say, it's like a mourning thing. Yeah, you don't. You can't tell people you, you how can to tell mourn or like some part. A lot of I think a lot of parts were rewritten. You know, hundred percent. But then they probably kept a few different things and went, oh, because we've got this character here this character is also here as well easy you know this that like- felt like without spoilers there's a appearance of a character you see before we've seen before in the mcu that did feel like a, a marvel rewrite perhaps to yeah. like oh there's a bit of universe in there yeah um but ross is great he's in the trailer yeah. ross is great yeah. having ross back in the frame um yeah shuri um letitia wright Absolutely smashes it out of the park. Queen Ramonda, um, Angela Bassett, she's fantastic. And Winston Duke and Baku, they are just, they've like become like a family on screen. And yeah. it's like, it's, it's actually just really cool to see and to see them develop. In a, um, 100%. Yeah. I mean, the I guess the little exciting tease for the rest of it. There's a post credit scene we're not going to talk about. We'll, we can do a spoiler chat another time and talk about the post credit scene. The most thing for universe I'm excited about without spoilers of the movie is that like we have Namor now. I mean, Namor is a mutant. 
and they can't. They do. They they not subtly suggest that he's muted yeah. in the movie. Yeah. It's like, yeah, what the- it's like the Miss Marvel one where they're like, <laughs> they're like, there's something in your blood, something like a mutation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I love that. Like it's corny as hell. I love it. And, but um, um, and in this one, I, I guess we can say this because it's like whatever. Yeah, we can mild say spoils. But um, one character says, "Oh no, I think it's Namor himself." He's telling the story, and his mother said that like, just some. Sort of mutant, yeah, <laughs> mutant of our blood. Hey, and I appreciated it because you look, I get the X Men in here, you know, get yeah. and get Namor in here. Like he'd be a very cool member to join um, a, a, a form of the X Men. We're not probably going to get the X Men for like another two or three phases, yeah. I think. But anyway, oh, maybe next phase. You never know. I think maybe, but I think it not the uh, not the X Men. Yeah, we might have mutants who fight with us in Secret Wars and like, there might be a Wolverine. We might get a new Wolverine in the next phase. It could happen. Mm. There's a lot of unannounced projects in phase six. Phase five is pretty like set and we know what everything is. But phase six, there could be a, you know, an, a Wolverine title in there or a, we might have Storm, someone pop up. Ryan Gosling, Ghost Rider. I would rather die than see what? that happen. It, it's on <laughs> drive. It's kind of I don't think that's the criteria. Um, yeah, I, I would okay, love to who, see Ghost Besides Nicolas Cage Who would be Ghost Rider? Just really quick I mean, my two favourite picks are too old now But I think um, Keanu Reeves would have been a great Ghost Rider That is pretty cool He's yeah. too old to just jump in now, I would have thought Yeah um, Oh no, I shut the door Hold on Ah! I'm sorry, Lewis! <laughs> Like, please get me out. Lewis has been just been chilling here. Yeah, my puppy again. dog has just wanted to get out. I shut the door. Um, <laughs> I think the other one is um, who plays Daryl Dixon on The Walking Dead. Oh, Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus. I think, but too old again. They missed yeah. him halfway through The Walking Dead. Would have been perfect. Who's an up and coming actor? He's got the person's got to have, and the guy's got to have feral in him. Yeah, and that's what I don't Hugh see Jackman. in Ryan Gosling. Like Ryan Gosling, it's like, yeah, it's is he gonna notebook. get angry? Like I don't know. I don't know if I see it. Um, yeah, he's too. Like a lot of his roles. Do you watch um, The Grey Man? No, I haven't seen it yet. I heard it was good though. It was good. I really actually really enjoyed it. Um, but he just played like I've noticed that he plays this sort of like even tempered character a lot. Yeah. Yeah. He's very. Mostly. He's pretty calm and like. You need someone to just like, like a calm kind of person should play Mister Fantastic. Yeah. Not Ghost Rider. You know, True. You know, but I couldn't see him as playing Mister. No, I don't either. either. No, no, I don't either. But the, the disposition's wrong, and then I think the look for him is kind of wrong as well. He's a pretty boy. Like it's a Ryan Gosling Human Torch. That's probably more him. He's too he old though. That. I yeah. think they're going to do a quite a young a new Fantastic Four. Yeah. I'm excited for the Fantastic Four. I have to say, I yes, I am too. excited. Have they um, they've cast it right? They've no, already cast- what? No I one has been did. cast yet. No, that's just what? rumors at this point. Cool. <laughs> but the big talk is still: is John Krasinski Didn't- coming back, or is he not coming? Oh, for, like is he our world's Mister Fantastic? Oh, somebody else. I reckon don't do that, and just have him as that multiversal one. Even if we see the multiversal one again, whatever. Yeah. But like, you want. I love the idea of Penn Badgley, who's that British actor from like he's. I think he's on. Don't sue me. I don't watch it. I think he's. Um, Bridgerton. No, no. What's the other stereotypical one? The one that everyone. Brown. No, the other one. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 my parents. Are yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. That everyone makes memes about. That's the anyway. Um, I think he's on that. Um, I didn't know. Um, Matt Smith's on The Crown. I didn't know that. Is he? Yeah, he plays young Prince Philip. I didn't. Oh. I saw a picture of him the other day as Philip, and I was like, "That's pretty cool." Because I'm watching House of the Dragon right princes. now, and I'm like, "He was. He he's was always a, a prince." Except a prince. in our favorite movie, Morbius. Mobius. Oh, sorry, Morbius. Oh. Can they do a Mobius project like Mobius from Loki? Can we just get him jet skis and like and Morpheus? We get. The, C- the CSI guy back. This is why <laughs> neither of us are writers at Marvel. <laughs> or the... Or, um, 
<laughs> I'd just love to be in the same room as the Marvel writers because they're just like they've got this they've got like so many you know things they have to tie in and everything and we're just like can we just bring in this dude why like, don't we just bring in Master doing? Chief like <laughs> Guys, come on! <laughs> Ryan Gosling as somebody. Come we on. We better we better change tax here um, in the the sense of time. But um, let's talk Avatar two. We Ryan and I just now just watched Avatar one, extended, the collected collect, cl- collectors extended, uh, edition. extended edition. I bet there's collectors theatrical. Is it the collectors theatrical? No, I think it's like uh, special re-release. <laughs> special re-release collector's edition, and then there's the collector's edition, extended edition, both in the same disc. You know, it's like when they um, when you see like people ma- naming a new product and they name it the same product with after it XV2 or yeah. like so it's like <laughs> yeah. dumb naming that makes no sense. That kind of makes me think about like when they. Uh, named graphics cards and stuff. They always name it something like crazy, like GeForce 23. But they make 3060, makes the, it sound like it's much better than the 2060, but it's like it'd be marginally better. Like they make yeah. it sound like it's this fantastic, it's a thousand. It's a, th- a thousand more. A thousand more units of yeah. graphics card. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it sounds like they've gone through to the, to the lay person. Uh-huh. They go, oh, okay, so maybe... Maybe even the smallest number of like, so you go 2100, 2200, 2300, and this is the 3600. That makes it sound like it's 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 3600 3, times better than, than one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, we got to get it. <laughs> um, that's what I found so funny when I was watching um, Linus Tech Tips do his undercover PC like system integrator thing. And the Dell person was like, uh, yeah, buy this, we'll add this add on uh, wireless card. Makes your internet ten times faster. <laughs> it's just like that ain't how that works. Um, so yeah, Avatar two. We've just watched Avatar one. Yes. Uh, Ryan, what did you think rewatching it again? Oh, I still love it. Like it's just it holds up for. I think it'll hold up forever. It's one of those. I know there's some people out there that go uh, the cinematic thing. With it, it's not super artistic. It's like a spec, spec. You know, it's like a theme park. It's you know something like that. I disagree. I disagree. Yeah. I disagree 100%. Yeah, me too. And I'm angry at oh, that. I think, I, should send hold on, I, think I rooted out audio for just one second. But um, yeah, we're saying it's oh. the, 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 the talking about yeah Avatar being a theme park like Pirates of the Caribbean kind of thing. No, it is artistic. Yeah. It's beautiful. I think, and it just, it's like the prime cinema. Like, mm. it's, this is a director that actually, he wants to bring a vision and he wants to bring a new world to people and to and have it like a kinesthetic sort of sensory thing, like 3D. Mm-hmm. James Cameron. He's just very... James Cameron. Yeah, you can just tell he wants you to be in there, in the world and in the story. And I think that should be praised more. 100%. Instead of just going like, um, this is a commentary on uh, the social uh, consequences. On, on, on blue people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And um, sure, it has. It some could say it's a vanilla story, but I don't know. Though it's got anti like colonization vibes. It's got a- and ahead of its time for like talking about that on a big screen. In like, yeah, it's got vibes about um, family and it, like and, and 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 Jake trying to like find purpose in this world feeling inadequate and then yeah. what can he do to find purpose and and kind of thinking like what's wrong with my race like why can't why are we so why would why do we think we're superior to these uh, guys who and that battle and then the t- him turning sides and it's great it's a great film um man it was long yes but yeah. I, it, it felt a little bit long but it didn't feel like too long yeah even the extended edition it didn't feel tacked on with things I, like they were no. like oh okay that's that person actually you know you see them die um like what's his name um uh to to say to to or something. Su- yeah, Suze. Suze. yeah um yeah we actually see him die on the ground and there's a touching moment between jake and him which should have been kept in there, but then there's that battle with like theatrical releases versus like we want we don't want it to be this long because then but then with Avatar two isn't it like two hours fifty yeah, or they're something just going, like falls to the wall. So it'll be interesting. Um, we haven't got our tickets. 
Um, no, I'll yet. have a look after we record this and see if you can get tickets and we'll message our group and be like, who's in for Avatar 2? Yes. Um, yeah, no, I'm excited. I, I'm excited to see where the story goes from here. Mm. Like, we've seen bits in the trailer of maybe a new tribe and, you know, not a lot of story in the trailer, which is yeah. good. Awesome. Um, good. So, it'll be interesting to see where do we go? Where's yeah. the, where's the and, next? Um, honestly, expectations are there for me, for Avatar 2. Like, I can't deny it. They've, James Cameron has spent years on this and um, money has been poured into it. What's the... What's their budget like? Is it like in the billions or surely not the billions? They're, they're not. I don't think they're like releasing anything about that. I, I think I've seen estimates that each movie that's coming is two hundred and fifty million, but that that's like every Marvel movie, James Cameron being asked about it is like not giving a certain answer. So maybe it's gone up or it's you know like yeah, true. Maybe they maybe like just to make the movie it's two hundred fifty, but then. You tack on the uh, marketing side. And, and they have like... gone quite hard. There's another trailer. So we've had three trailers now. Yes. I have I've not watched the new one and I'm not going to watch it. Mm-hmm. Just because I don't want to see any more. I just want to go in and experience the movie um, for that first time. And, and just, yeah, jump into it and really, really enjoy it. I think the film... There's going to be certainly expectations and people are going to have um, like pretty set ideas of what this movie is going to be like. But um, So, Avengers Endgame was... 300 million? Yeah, it was like 350. <sighs> and then Spider-Man No Way Home was 200. And then Avatar 2, 250. To be fair, Avengers Endgame, a lot of that is cast. Yeah, they were... And they're all in different locations, shooting different films, and then having to bring them over. Yeah, with all their specialties. Yep. Or mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, and and it was a VFX heavy movie, Avengers Endgame. Essentially, almost every shot is a VFX shot. It mm-hmm. seems to be the. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Avatar two. I mean, being fully CG, you know, we're talking about um, <laughs> pretty funny environment to be filming stuff in. That it's. Uh, they need to go on the mocap stage and that's kind of their way of filming and whatever. I don't think the magic of this movie will be lost. Like, I think people are going to go see it. I think they're going to be excited by it. Um, I just, I'm, I don't think it's going to do as crazy numbers as people think it's going to be. I think yeah. in the wash up, six months from the release, it might hit a billion. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised by that. Yeah. But I don't think you can expect the 2.9 it made the yeah, first time oh around it's a different world we're dealing still with covid with, and we're also dealing another just crazy different thing um we're in a world of streaming now yeah like a complete yeah where would it why go? go to the streaming yeah but like why go to the cinema when you can catch it a couple months you know if you're not yeah. that excited yeah um well it's disney so i guess it'll be on disney plus oh it's oh that is true because the original one was uh fox yeah um, but now Disney owns Fox, so I guess it'll be on Disney Plus eventually. That'll be great to see it in the if they don't show it in theaters in the sixteen by nine or or a wider IMAX kind of ratio. I'm sure that'll be uploaded to Disney Plus later, so that'll be worth a rewatch. I really hope when we go to see it, it's not widescreen. I am kind of over widescreen. I think it was very cool for a film era for a while. Um. And it works for certain films, but most of the films that are big spectacle and stuff, just show me the full shot. Like yeah. I don't, I don't need <laughs> yeah. to like. And as well, it's going to be in three D. All showings? Surely not. Surely not. But it like in the advertisements, they are saying three D, three D, three D. So and we, like cinemas, we got rid of, we kind of half got rid of the three D stuff. Well, the the cinema that we are going to go to most likely was showing. Um, I saw a three D. You could get tickets first three D. Yeah. Um, here we go. Oh no, see it in two. Okay, there are two D showings. I'm not seeing it in three D. Yeah, I, I am plus sorry. My gla- like it's just weird. Yeah, having three D and the glasses on <laughs> does not work. Um. Oh, we might have to go later than we usually do because the, the one we usually go to is a 3D. 
Huh. At the cinema we go to, I don't, I didn't know you could see 3D. Maybe they just never do because yeah. of like what comes out that's 3D. None, nothing. I mean, I wouldn't mind going to a 3D thing. It's, it like I've just been all. I haven't actually used glasses with well, 3D. Glasses. I think I'd want to do it. I not the first time I see it. Oh yeah, okay. So it's opened up. Look, there's two people in this the <laughs> showing. We'll probably go to. Um, so I'll message that around and we'll have a think about that. Um, yeah, not the first time. I'd be down to see it in 3D, mm. not my first viewing. Because I have negatives associated with 3D, as cool as some of the things, just because it's dumb <laughs> and it distracts you sometimes from the actual things that you should be looking at on true, the screen because you're true. like... Um, but And then if James Cameron was here, he'd be like, Joel, you're not like experiencing it though. Like, you're not there, Right? Right? Uh, no, no, I saw it fine. Thanks, Jim. Um, now leave. No, you got to see it in 3D, though. Doh. The doll. <laughs> doll. That's how he's... <laughs> doll. Uh, yeah, no, Avatar 2 is going to be great. I, I'm i interested... One of my like the things I'm most interested to see, like, what's the buzz going to be like in the theatre? Is it going to be like Marvel buzz that I there's like this so. big thing? Or is it going to... Like, are we going to go to a booked out avatar 2 or not like yeah. this is going to be this interesting this thing is, yeah because isn't it that if this buckles right if this is just doesn't sell they won't do the rest well i think they've filmed the third one so i feel like there's a little bit of pressure to finish the third one but in saying that he seems- won't make the last two if this flops there's no way though it can flop no there is a way there is a possibility but i just don't think so i think I think the world is still interested by the world of Pandora. Like, yeah. I don't think... That movie was just so word of mouth. If we go and see this and it's fantastic, the word of mouth is going to get around. Like, yeah. But if the, word, if the word of mouth is... Yeah, it's pretty... Oh, it's all right. Like, there, maybe it will, it will suffer a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, Surely. all interesting to see. Surely. I actually want this to succeed. <laughs> so do I. Um... Oh, wow. I've just seen on the ticket information, Avatar Way of Water contains several sequences of bright lights which may affect customers who are susceptible to photosensitive epilepsy. Mm. Where did What movie did I see that warning before recently? Black Panther. Was that Black Panther? I think it was Black Panther. And for what in that movie? I can't even think what in that movie. There were... Oh, no. It was that Under the Water. There was a lot of yeah, like... Yeah, I think it was yeah, Under okay. the Water. Fair enough. Um... Yeah, no, uh, Avatar 2 starring our favourite uh, Sam, Wise Ganji Worthington. <laughs> <laughs> He's from Perth, by the way. Uh, Ryan won't not stop going on this, but Ryan, can you share with us his Perth story? Uh, so he was a bricky in Perth. <laughs> Great story. That's one of the... Jim Cameron, can we make a movie about that? Yeah. Um, no, it's going to be, it's going to be great, this movie. It's going to be beautiful. Um, oh no. What? I've just realized I'm going to have a busy that day if that's the day we go on because I'm graduating on that day. Oh, no <laughs> way. Just turn up in your gowns. <laughs> no, I'm graduating in the morning. It'll be all right. Um, no, it's, it's going to be good. I, I, I just think we have to have our expectations a little bit in check. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> We've got a little bit of time before we finish the show. What is anything else happening? Um I mean Black Panther did beat Black Adam's entire domestic run in a day. <laughs> I knew it. In a I weekend, opening weekend, it. which is funny. <laughs> um I don't, yeah, it's funny. Um we de- I was I was telling Ryan before about that there's a survey out about some of the superhero fans, their reactions and stuff, and DC fans seem to be excited about individual projects and not the universe. Like the universe. <laughs> Which, when you think about it, the universe is such poo. Yeah, it kind of makes sense why they're saying that. Yeah, because like they've just had, no, this one's okay, this one's all right, this one's shit, this is like total crap. And it's yeah. like, what do you, how do you get a fan excited about the full gambit and the, you know, when there's Batman Superman in there and there's yeah. like, and some of the movies coming up, um, I haven't seen the first Shazam. I, I will get onto that and watch that. Right. The second yeah, Shazam yeah. is their next release. I think it's February. It's coming out at the same time as Ant-Man. So it's going to be interesting uh, to see who... Ant-Man's, I, got a- Ant-Man's got Kang in it. I don't think... 
like the marketing is going to be wild and it's going to be like this is a big marvel thing like yeah. come and come and watch this um i my most excited thing in the dc world is uh aquaman 2 my i'm not even that excited for the movie i'm excited to see how much of amber heard is in yeah. the movie <laughs> Or if I there's think, zero. I feel like that's like a lot of people where they go like, they're thinking, oh, I want, they might even just go just to see Amber Heard get edited out. <laughs> like, like, I mean, they might. That's the... That's I wonder the, if we'll see like her completely grayed out, you know, where it's like a monster will get hit just by a ghost of... <laughs> No, I, or did they do the like what they did to Johnny Depp? It's still Warner Brothers. It's the same company. Do they just recast Amber Heard because they did it to Depp? Wait, in what? Fantastic Beasts. Oh, you're right. So what if it, we just watch the movie and it's like Angelina Jolie? Dude, <laughs> I would laugh. Like I'd laugh so much. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. You laugh. I, DC though, the Flash next year could be good. That's one thing that I'm kind of like, that might be good with all the multiverse stuff and the different Batmans and then... Yeah, although another controversial... DC does not exactly have its stars together. I think The Rock is probably the only one who hasn't really touched Henry, controversy. Henry well, kind of. Henry Cavill's Witcher thing recently is... That's a bit of controversy. And the fact that he wasn't contracted to come back as Superman... Yeah. Like that was a bit like controversy. <laughs> DC's just kind of all over the place. Marvel's had some controversy the last year, but not its normal like Wait, what which ones? The big one is Blade. Blade's a, an absolute shit hear, show apparently. I didn't hear it. What? Drop the director. Scripts torn up. New script starting production like development is the talk. Whoa. Um Apparently, well, I, I these are just rumors, but that's apparently a major part of why it's been delayed a bunch because it was supposed to come out in November th- this coming year. Yeah. They haven't filmed anything. What so it's now jam? like November the next year or it's September the next year, which moved Deadpool backwards as well, which is annoying. And like, yeah. that's the thing that's with a shared universe. Like, Dude, what if we just wrote around. our own movies and just strata them to Marvel? <laughs> we should do that. Yeah, like, I was talk. I was actually going to talk to you about we should film a short film sometime. That'd and, be you know, fun. Do our own creative stuff and show DC that we can make shit too. Yeah, what they're made of. Oh, what they made. You know, because we're we're better. We're better cloth, almost. We're better cloth. That's the short film. Like snake skin, your snake skin, and I'm crocodile skin. Anyway, <laughs> um, what else has been happening? Is there anything? What it's been a pretty dull oh, November. I, I watched All Quiet on the Western Front. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Any really good? Really good. Oh, because really I was nervous good. it was going to be bad because I love the original. It's it's all German as well. Oh, that was the worst thing about the original that it was like it's just white dude, white yeah, American like dudes, like Brit- British as well. Oh, I see. <laughs> You're just like, oh, but can yeah, we get some authentic? It's so authentic. And, you know, because we both did modern history in um, in uh, school. We got to watch some films instead of studying. Yeah. Thanks for that. Um, but, like, the detail, like, I just, I was, like, back in Mrs. Richard's class, you know, and I was watching it and going, like, oh, wow, they got these details so right. What the heck? It's a very accurate and it's a very emotional film. Don't spoil the ending of the film. Yeah, it's a great that the original ending is just fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, that was good. I watched the Adam Project the other day. I finally got around to watching that. Oh. That is fantastic. Really, fantastic. I'm gonna check it out. That's Ryan Reynolds, uh, Zoe Zaldana. Oh, Mark Ruffalo. Yes, 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 yes. It's funny because they're all in the MCU now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, everyone's getting. Slowly, yeah, it's like a big, big country that's forming. But it's like who's not in the MCU? That's yeah. like the better. They're, they're federalizing. <laughs> Feder- um, that movie's so good, so emotional. Great story, sci-fi stuff. It's just that was great. Um, House of the Dragon's pretty good. Yes. I'm like halfway through. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's. Um, it's made me want to get back into Westeros. Like, I finished it, finished the series. Well, Does it get season. good, even better towards the end? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. good, good. Because it's, 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 it's good, setting up, but it's... setting up lots of the pieces that you'll see in the next thing. And it's only two seasons, so... 
Yeah. Yeah, there's no second season like two years away or something stupid. Yeah, probably probably will be. <sighs> Why don't they play? <sighs> anyway. Yeah. Um, what else is good? Um, The Boys is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That's boys. filming at the moment, I believe. Atlanta, usually. Everybody's filming in at, yeah. at Atlanta. And speaking of Atlanta with The Walking Dead, this season's got Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Um, Isn't it last season too? I saw an advertisement. No, I'm look not it sure. Up. Look it up. Okay, I'll have a look. Um, Negan from The Walking Dead's joining the fourth season. What? Not as Negan. <laughs> oh. um, so that's going to be hilarious to see. Um, yeah, have we heard any news? And I think, but I'll keep on doing Fear the Walking Dead. Wait, I thought you were talking about the boys. Oh, no, 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 not the boys. Oh, sorry. I was going to say. No, the Walking Dead's finished. What? <laughs> They've released the final episode of The Walking Dead. What? I thought we were talking about the boys. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I... Walking Dead finished like two months ago. The last episode. <laughs> <laughs> I never watched it, so no spoilers. I didn't. No, get... yeah, I. <laughs> uh, I never. Look, I'm, <laughs> I'm like four seasons behind. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm back at season five. <laughs> yeah, no, I. Uh, yeah, that's that's ended. Um, and Westworld got cancelled. I don't know if you what? saw that. Did it? So they were going to make the fifth and final season. It was, and it's been canned at four. Oh, GG, well played. Um, its viewership was like seven hundred thousand people in the in the states watched the finale of season four so that's when you know it's dead <laughs> yeah that's because uh, the first season was i've great. seen the first season in the first couple episodes the second loved loved it yeah really I good that was great but sometimes things just they don't work like the witcher with henry cavill like yeah. i was saying to people the other day i actually don't think that's the biggest loss like i know henry cavill has been the witcher yeah he doesn't oh, yeah, really suit the game's yeah. kind of perception of Geralt and my perception of Geralt as a smaller guy who's muscular, but he's not Superman like athletic, muscular. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and just having a little more character than Henry Cavill gives it. Yeah. Geralt's not boring. When you play the game, he's not boring. He's just a bit cold and a yeah. bit dry. Yeah. But he's got a lot of character and... I. It, this might be good with Hemsworth, or it might be bad, and they'll it's recast Liam. him again. It's not Liam. Um, yeah. yeah, Liam, Liam. Hemsworth. Yeah. So Liam, who played Gale in The Hunger Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's actually got the body type that is a Geralt body type. When you yeah. see him, he's ripped, but he's he's not massive. Um, the kind of body I would love to have, like they're just <laughs> tight muscles, but like not big. Like yeah, not, yeah, you're yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. you know you're crazy. Not trying big. to show off or anything, but yeah, yeah. I like that eye. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know why you flex just then. Why? Why? <laughs> I watched rewatched the Maze Runner the other day. Uh, the original, like the, the original? first one. The first one, yeah. Yeah, that's good movie. I didn't really like any of the other ones. Yeah, I haven't watched them. So the Scorch Trials was okay. Yeah. Except I, well, I had an argument with a f- book fan one time who was like, I was like, they're just zombies, like the creatures in it. And they're like, no, they're not. They're uh, like sun-affected people that then they try to infect other people with this. I'm like... It's infect so there's other zombies. people that are healthy, right? And so they're, they're zombies, they're, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I zombie doesn't necessarily mean they're dead. <laughs> like, anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's good. That's with uh, O'Brien. Um, Dylan O'Brien. Yeah, yeah. He's pretty good. I wouldn't want to see him in the MCU one day. Yeah. Maybe give him another five years and let him become a bit more of a mature-looking guy. We've yeah. got enough Tom Hollands. <laughs> um, yeah, no, there's a, there's a lot of... So, Avatar in December. Oh, to, I mean, it's, I'm excited because either, it's either today or tomorrow. Uh, Criminal Minds comes back. So, they've Ooh. rebooted Criminal Minds. That will be exciting for me. Um, and the Christmas special, Guardians of the Galaxy, is either today or tomorrow. Oh, is it? And I it's forty-four no minutes or something. So it's not—it's not a. It's like a you know. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, that'll be exciting. It's supposed to be a fun Christmas silly satire thing, but also yeah. connect us to the third Guardians movie in May next year. Like to keep get us up to what's been going on with the Guardians. Wow. Um. So cool. I'm excited for that. I, there's not a lot other. Oh, January. I'm pretty sure I saw as one of our last things we'll talk about. I'm pretty sure I saw The Last of Us. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's coming out... January? Isn't it December? Um, TV series. Yeah. What's happening with the TV series, bros? When's it coming? 
we'll just check how it's going and we'll um we'll wrap up the episode. Why? Who will star in it? Who's developed? When will it premiere? Yeah, January fifteenth next oh, year. Oh, true. That is gonna be dope. Yes. And they're saying this is a first season or first cycle, but we'll see how we go. You know. Yeah, I'd, um, I'm keen for it. Where is it gonna be streaming? HBO Max, which is annoying. So binge. So binge in Australia. Oh. I which I just got binge. So it's too much money for me. Yeah, you reckon? Well, there's a lot of content on it though. It's, yeah. it's 16 bucks a month, isn't it? I thought it was 14. Even so. Yeah. <laughs> should be under $10. Um, yeah, no, that'll be great. Um, I was not a fan of the game. I tried the game. It's the mechanics that don't work for me. I don't like how repetitive and boring some of the yeah, gameplay mechanics true. are. The story's fascinating and mm. really good. Uh, like, I, I could watch a YouTube video. That's what it. I'm saying. I could watch all the cutscenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a, but you then, know, like, like a, a, oh, I have to go through the survival aspect of and it. And that's why the show's very exciting to me. I'm like, I love Pedro Pascal. Yeah. She, Ellie, the actors from Game of Thrones, she was the... You remember the house in Game of Thrones that had the little teenage girl as the head of the house? That's her. No way, really? Yeah, she's grown up a bit. Oh. Um. Yeah. So no, I'm excited for that. And last thing, I will. I'm vowing into camera right now. I will catch up on Andor in the next two months. Oh, me too. <laughs> yeah. The final I'll, episode I'll just came too. out, and I haven't seen the first episode. Oh. <laughs> There's twelve episodes. What? Really? Yeah. Oh. They reckon it's really hey, good. good. On them for you know making content that's yeah. longer than six because everything so is six. Hey. Yeah. All right, Ryan. I'm gonna reach across. Oh. See, we're actually in the same room. We're in the same room, but it's like split camera, uh, camera, cam, um, camels. Yeah, we're not just pretending that we're both there. Exactly. All right. Thank you so much for listening. We will catch you next time. Oh my goodness. Um, hey. Oh wow. Wow. For those listening, uh, we're we're hanging out right now. I um, want you for Christmas. Uh, all I want for Christmas is the last of us. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.